I'm going to drive to the coast tonight and I'm going to go to a van life meetup this weekend. It should be a lot of fun. I know that there's Holy Toledo going on on the coast this weekend, so I thought it would be fun to go meet van lifers. Just get out of bend, get out of the smoke for a couple days. The smoke, I'll show you, it's so bad out there. My mom texted me, she was like, I think you should take a road trip. And so I'm like, maybe I should take a road trip. If you're new around here, I'll explain. I spend summers in central Oregon and sometimes the spring and sometimes the fall as well. It just depends on how I'm feeling. going on but hopefully I won't be driving out of this smoke for too long. I'm passing sisters right now. I've been dealing with the wildfire smoke in Oregon for a few years now and I'm starting to question how many more seasons I'll be coming back to this area for a break from travel. I'm becoming more jaded about the wildfire smoke with each season. I finally made it out of the smoke and then I had to pull over. I just pulled over to let my transmission cool down for a minute and I've been letting my truck run and I think it's starting to cool back down. We'll see, but this is a pretty area. Okay, we are back in a good range. It looks like there's a campsite 15 minutes away and hopefully it won't be smoky there. So we are about to find out. Head east on US 20 East for National Forest Development like Road 2076. Okay, these guys both look in the other lane. I never put clips in my videos of me jamming out for copyright reasons. Lately, I've been listening to oldies, Tom Petty, and not so much podcast audiobooks, which I used to love. And I'm just, I don't know if it's the summer vibes, but I'm into music these days. The first time I drove through Oregon, I thought the forest was so magical. The trees are so high and dense and there's nothing out there. It's such a treat to road trip through Oregon. Take the next left onto National Forest Development Road 2067. I think I've found a campsite for the night. The skies look clear. I don't see any smoke. Looks beautiful out here. Some of us sleep at rest stops. Others of us set up camp in a snow park. I wonder where this road goes. Oh.
I got my iPad out and started drawing. Since I've started this YouTube channel, I haven't drawn as much and every time I get back to it, it's so exciting and I realize how much I've missed it. So the light's probably not good for me at night, but it's a great time for me to draw and unwind at the end of the day. Morning. I feel so put together. I had a shower this morning, my coffee. I'm chilling in the snow park still. It's like getting, it's getting late. I need to get going. I'm gonna meander my way down to the coast this morning. I've decided I'm like, an hour, I think I've got like two and a half hours to go, but I'm gonna make a couple stops along the way and should be fun. But first, I'm gonna get some push-ups in because this sounds, I, I feel like this sounds silly, like the silliest goal, but I, I wanna do like 10 full push-ups in a row. I'm trying to get my strength up. I've never really focused on strength, so starting kind of at scratch. Routine is so hard for me on the road and having time in the morning to pull out my mat before I hit the road is really nice. Let's see how long we've got. I stepped on a piece of glass in my camper a minute ago. I think one of my wine glasses that broke at some point. And now my foot kind of hurts because it's like, it cut me pretty good. Toledo, Oregon. All right. Head up on National Forest Development Road 2067 toward US 20 East, then turn right onto US 20 West. Let's do this. I'm really excited to get out of the smoke this weekend. I also feel, I don't know, I feel excited about a spontaneous road trip and a bit bummed because I just wasn't, I didn't know that this is what I was gonna do this weekend. You know what I mean? It's unexpected, right? Okay. All right, go, dude, go, 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 go. I've just been really wanting to practice my surfing and I guess I'm bummed that it's smoky. I finally passed this huge lake and realized I was actually passing through a town for the first time in an hour and a half. I've been going through these windy roads and having to go slow and people are riding me and I finally made it to Sweet Home Oregon and I'm just like, there's something here. There's civilization. So I'm gonna take a little stopping break here in a second and uh, I'm gonna pull over and take a little breather for a second. Yay. So my go-to snack is usually a spicy jerky stick and I'm drinking diet root beer. I feel like I got away from um, diet drinks a couple years ago, but I'm like slipping back into the habit. Probably should work on that, but not today. A mill mural, that's pretty cool. 1905. This mill provi will provide 
electricity for the neighborhood, flashlights twice before turning lights out every night. Wow. Welcome to Sweet Home, Oregon. It's a beautiful lake. Okay, I just wanted to stop and get some fresh air for a second. This lake is huge. Wow. And I guess there's a mill right behind us. It looks like a timber mill. There's all the logs over here. They're working on it. Bunch of blackberries that are pretty worn out. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful out here. The water also looks pretty clear. Okay, I'm getting back on the road. I think I've still got like two hours of driving to do. I love this little A&W fast food on the right because it reminds me of Whataburger. I don't know if there is a Whataburger on the West Coast. Y'all tell me in the comments. I just made it. It is so nice down here. It's cool. There's a breeze and I can breathe, most importantly. Here's a van lifer, maybe. I'm really excited to share next week with you guys the event. I took a lot of clips and I have just been editing like crazy after the event this video. So thanks for watching and cheers from, I'll show you where I'm at. The day use park. <laughs>